bigotry to a group because we're not all criminals. And if you believe that we all are, you are wrong. That's not what I said. You asked okay, me so why I, I have an issue with a uh, male uh, or female. Valid in society. Yeah, give me a second to find the source. You just can't pull it up. I will pull it up, but I'm going to also answer a question. No, you're um, going to find your source. In the meantime, first. I yeah, will. No, no, no. I'm you, going you to answer you don't a have question any in the meantime. TikTok. TikTok, you have two choices the source or leave. The source or leave, TikToker. You made a You make very that kind of claim, that kind of gross. Give me one claim, second. You better be able to back it. Give me one second. I will. Give me one second. Thank you for the sunglasses. I love how perfectly these fit the uh I know. The I remember the first couple times I saw you with them on, I'm like <laughs> That filter's not going away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they looked so real. They still do. They're really cool. Yeah, I know. So look hard to justify your bigotries. One second. You know, you already found a source that said the opposite. <laughs> you shouldn't have to dig. <laughs> I'm bullshit. looking. I'm looking for a source. I actually you had this source saved, but I don't anymore. So I have to find it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. When you have to try so hard to find something, doesn't it smell like a red flag? I mean, Google's pretty good about getting good sources up on the top. If you if you know what search uh, Google for. Google sources usually Google sources usually um, are very biased in the first like. <laughs> Three there pages. Not. So you bias, and if you yeah, say, really if you say otherwise, I mean that's just you're just blatantly ignoring the obvious. Who would you consider oh, to be a good okay. source? Who would you consider to be a good source? Um, the uh, federal uh, crime invest uh, federal, what's it called? All right, go 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 see any what you can find for demographics. Government agency. So much any yourself. fed any federal government agency. Yes. Sure. All right, go find those crime stats. Let's say that LGBT people are. What did you say? Like eighty percent more likely. Eighty five. Eighty five percent more likely. Eighty percent of all crimes against children are committed against any all. Eighty percent of yeah, all okay. uh, sexual yep. crimes against children is committed by the LGBT community. Tell you what, TikToker, I'm going to give you that five minutes. So five minutes to find your source. That is uh, more than enough time. Go find your wow. source. Actually, cisgender straight men, but you know whatever. I don't know about eighty five percent. I just know it's a higher. Numbers, so if a cis man commits a sexual act against a male child, that Are you is for that, a, source? that is a that is a gay act. No, it is not. That's not that consensual. Not if no. if it is a no. male no. TikToker acting Are you for your right now? sexually against another male, no. that is a homosexual no. act. No, no it's not. fucking not. That's the P word we can't say on TikTok. That is not being gay. That is not what, no. That is not what it is. That's disgusting. No. Holy fuck. Okay, guys. We endured a lot for that one. Jam damn. Keep tapping away. Let's see if we can get 100,000 likes. Share the live. Let's get another 100 shares. <laughs> We're going to bring up the next guest. We do not talk about previous guests. And if you are friendly, you are loved, but please do not request. How old are you, please? <laughs> Can men get pregnant? <laughs> Thank you for the sunglasses. Hot dog. Those are, for are you, you in with us? Yo. Hello. Hello. How old are you, please? I'm 19. Fantastic. What year were you born? 2003. All right. And can men get pregnant? No. Only women can. Oh. What about transgender men? Uh, yeah, if they have the right surgery. Yeah. Really? If they have surgery? What? I mean, listen, listen, what? listen. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Chill, chill. What? Listen. What surgery? There's only two genders. 
What what surgery? There's a male and there's a female. Okay. I, oh, oh God. Are you okay? I'm okay. Are you okay? I'm breathing, I, right? Yeah. I just wanted to make sure yeah, that's the intact at the beginning of your. You, you I think talking? we're done with this bozo. Shut up, bozo. There's yeah. only two genders. Male and I female. think you're thirteen. <laughs> Sorry, I was setting up my uh, my new. You're good. You know, <laughs> as you know, sometimes my kids listen to these lives, and people act like that. I talk to them about how they should never be confidently wrong, and that they need to do research and make sure they know what they're talking about before they spew a bunch of fucking bullshit. Well, I don't say it like that, but. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for the boat. And my fifth grader already knows about like doing like proper research. That's awesome. I did not know about doing proper research at that age. I know they're te they're teaching it early now. How you doing? Jesus is my savior. I'm good. How are you? Doing fantastic. Um, how old are you? Thirty three. Fantastic. And can men get pregnant? I don't believe so. No. What about transgender men? So are you talking about someone who was born a biological female, but transitioned to a man? Yeah, a born uh, a signed female at birth, but is a man would be so a better yes, way to say trans, that. But yes, tra trans man can get pregnant, but that's because they're biological females. Mm -hmm. Correct. Right. Yep. So the statement trans so men can get pregnant because they are biological females. Correct. So I win. Yes. Basically, our, my, my next question to you would be are transgender men men? Transgender men are, wait, what? Are transgender men, men. Transgender men. So transgender men are biological females transgendering to a man. So they would be, they would be trans Transgendering. Men. I don't know. I don't know that's, the term. Okay. okay. Um, you were just giving so, the terminology. You were just yeah. <laughs> Hey, hang on, slow down. We're, we're doing all right so far. There's, there's, there's a red flag, but let, let's, let's work through it before we, uh, before we go any further, a, a transgender man is assigned female at birth, but is a man. So my question to you, therefore, is is a does a transgender man qualify as a man to you? Well, I mean, in your worldview, I guess it would, but not in mine. So I mean, okay, why? Differently. Just because of my religious beliefs, but not in a hateful way. Are you Christian? Yeah. Okay, yeah, your, your Bible says nothing against trans identities. It doesn't say anything against trans identities, but it says that God made us male and female. It says man, man and woman. Well, yeah, man and woman. And so, like, right, and transgender men are men, and transgender women are women. The, the, the only reason that I, I'm not, like, against it, the only reason I think it's just um, not, like, what, what my life would follow, not that I'm forcing my beliefs on you, is because I believe how God made us yeah. is beautiful. So okay, okay. Slow, slow down, slow, slow down. Your, your Bible does say that God created man and woman. I'm not denying yes. that. But I'm transgender not. men are men and transgender women are women. Therefore, your Bible says nothing against trans identities. Trans identities still work under your, under your religious book. Well, it says that women shouldn't wear men's clothing and men shouldn't wear women's clothing. So it also okay. says There's that women things. shouldn't speak. It also says that women yeah. shouldn't speak. Yeah, but so, um, it, it's saying it, that we should not like never speak ever. You have to read the context. It says that you shouldn't educate. It says that you shouldn't educate. So follow your Bible and hush. <laughs> let's 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 not let's not go that way. I don't want to go that way. Um, <laughs> have you ever worn heels? Me? Yes. I'm like six foot, so I I I don't really wear high heels because I'm too tall. <laughs> okay. Have you worn dresses? Yes. Okay. Um, dresses Wait, were Sever, for by any women. chance? Do I what? Sorry, okay, what yeah. did you ask? I interrupted. Sorry. It's okay. Okay, I, okay yeah. yeah. When it comes to dresses, uh, originally me, um, men wore dresses as well. Oh, well, like Jesus and them wore like robes, but in that time, that was the style for men. Okay, so whatever is in the style in our particular culture, that is what God wants us to conform to. I think I think if you're doing it to dress feminine, it's is completely different than if you're doing it because it's the style or you know what I mean. It's a heart thing. God doesn't judge us based on what we do, but our heart intentions and stuff. 
so you so god wants you to to be whatever the norm is within society i don't think it's the norm i think it's his plan so and i'm not arguing with you guys you um, guys are free to believe whatever G you want. G this is my savior uh, yeah i'm curious what what is the the the, t the top you're wearing right now what what's it made of um if you're um, if you're talking about the old Levitical laws that we are no longer held you're under, you're talking about the old Levitical sense. laws. You're talking about the old Levitical laws. Yeah, but the mix. Oh, okay, what we're um, I guess it's cotton. Is it it's just cotton? Important. Nothing else. Yeah, probably cotton. It's like a cotton sweatshirt. I don't know. I'm not really good at this. <laughs> I would imagine there's more than. Um, I can read the tag. Let me, let me see. I don't know. I'm trying to read it. Maybe. Yeah, it says 100% cotton. Oh, damn. Okay. Do you have any clothing that is not 100% one, one type of fabric? Um, do, do you maybe own jeans? Maybe like a spandex, like, like spandex, like a yoga pants. Anything that's clothes. not just one material. Yes. Okay, so th that's that's against the Bible. The Bible doesn't want you doing that. It's not against the Bible. You're talking about the old Levitical laws that was for the Jew, and when Jesus came, Jews, and when Jesus came and died, that old law was done away with, and we're not under held under that law anymore. Then why are Just you like holding we, us to it? We used to not it. be able to. Yeah. Compete. Then why are you holding us to it? You. you well, because Genesis isn't like the women. old law. That's that's old Levitical law. Well, I I didn't point out any scripture against transgender in the old Levitical law, did I? Yes, you did. Which you one? Just like women. That's well, what about First Corinthians six nine, the effeminate? Yeah. Um, what That's about the, the fact new... that she, what about the fact that Adam and Eve had uh, three sons and no daughters? Can you give me one example of a transgender person in the Bible? Just one. Uh, yeah, um, yeah, eunuchs. You guys, what? Where did you guys get that? God from? himself. God himself, because he's non-binary. Yeah, there, there's an entire book that that the whole um, entire refers, Bible says there's an she. entire book. Nope, there is an entire book that uses she. Yeah, but that's because that's not the real Bible. That's something people change. Oh, like, you, like, like, so are you reading the Bible in Hebrew and Greek? I do have a. I I've seen the Greek Bible. Is yes, but Bible I have it read? translated. Is that the Bible you read? Okay, no, but do I, you know I, the I no don't know truth. Greek. Exactly. Okay. Do you know the no true Scotsman fallacy? No, what's that? Okay, you're saying that um, this isn't the real thing to constitute your point. Well, I'm not trying to persuade anybody. You guys just asked me what I believe. You don't have to believe what I believe in. You're free to believe whatever you want. It's okay, free so do you believe that trans people should be having access to gender affirming care? I believe that my rules of, of my religion are for me and you can live your life however you want. I believe that no, not for my family, but if that's what makes you happy, go for it. It's it, We all have free will. E even if you had a trans child, you would just neglect their medical care? I wouldn't neglect their medical care. I would just um, point, try to point them in the right direction. And when they turn 18, they're free to do whatever they want. Okay, but what if Wait, they're miserable we... their entire childhood? Like they didn't want well, to make my kids. Or go my out kids or won't do think that way because I don't expose them to the media. Okay, that is so you not. Think, uh -uh. Right, so you don't. That's make not how trans people exist, baby valid. cakes. Um. So I I didn't know that trans people existed until I was like fifteen. Uh, I'm still trans, uh, and I always was. Uh, I can look at old baby pictures of me, and there's days that I run around in princess dresses and a hooded towel on my head, and there's other days where I'm dressed in polo shirts and jeans. So, well, yeah. yeah, I know trans people exist. I never said they didn't. I just said that we just live a little differently, but that's yeah, just I didn't right. Yeah, expose so did, my, my I didn't expose my kids to transgender people either, and I have a transgender kid, so. Well, I, I don't care if they meet transgender people, but I don't want them, like, being taught, like, at No, but my kid can... is transgender without knowing about transgender people. Some But kids... they probably got influenced at school no. by their friends. No, Jesus Christ. They weren't even in school. You're talking to, to uh, the two transgender people right here. I can tell you. I did not know what being transgender was until my early 20s. I knew that I was a girl at four. So how did you, like, how did you, like, learn? Like, you didn't learn at school or anything? Like, you just thought as a child that you were? Yes, I, I recognized at the age of four that I was supposed to be a girl, but uh, everyone was telling me that I was a boy, so I felt alone, I felt broken, and I got cash up to kick you. You have a good night. <laughs> Sorry. 
Bye. <laughs> Thank you so much for the cash app. Appreciate you. Oh my god. I said in my live the other day, I'm like, I'm gonna channel I'm like, I'm channeling my inner Adora. I got cash to, to Kitchku. Have a good day. Nice. That <laughs> god, that's so frustrating when people are like, if my kid is trans, I'm gonna steer him in the right direction and make him wait till they're eighteen. Oh, it makes me it makes me angry. Literally it gets my blood boiling. Um, can I bring something up real quick? Um, when she was saying like um she was winning, I I just pictured Adora with one of those pop confetti things when like when somebody changes their <laughs> mind and like yay! <laughs> I don't know why I pictured that. That's okay, uh, I even I was I was even looking up off to the side just to make sure that that uh, Le that Levitical law I was talking about. Um, was uh, not Levitical. The, the law that I was talking about was Old Testament, that biblical law. And uh, yeah, everything, everything that she was it's like, she was saying that oh, the Old Testament stuff doesn't count, while saying that oh, women, uh, men can't wear women's clothing, which is all Old Testament. I know it's wild. Like literally picking and choosing out of the Bible, which which rules to follow. I just get so angry when parents are okay with torturing their kids. I don't oh my God. I don't get it. I had a bad one this morning. Hello. How are you doing today? Good. I love making people mad. Interesting. <laughs> uh, how old are you please, Emily? 18. Fantastic. What year were you born? 2005. 2005. Okay. Can men get pregnant? No. What about transgender men? Trans men, yes. Uh, are transgender men men? Transgender men are just transgender men. Okay, so what is a necessary condition for being a man? Necessary condition? Meaning a rule mm -hmm. that applies to the entire group without exception. That's how you were born? What? I need specifics. You said that's how you're born. What? What's how you're born? You're born with male reproductive parts making you. That's what a man is. But you're... you just said it. You said male. Male and man are different things. Male refers to your sex. Man refers to your gender. Male and men are the same thing. No. Um, sex is biological, meaning your chromosomes, your gonads, your genitalia, your neurological sex, your hormonal sex. Um, gender is psychological and social, meaning how you present to society, uh, your internal sense of self. Different things. So, how do you think that a man can get pregnant? Uh, same way that anyone with a uterus can get pregnant. Okay. Meaning that men do not have uteruses, so trans men Some do. men have uteruses. Trans mm -hmm. men have uteruses. If they're trans, yes. Right, so Correct. trans men are men. But you wouldn't that, that's call what them we're trans men right if they were just men. Oh, you wouldn't no. call a tall man a man. You would just call him a, a man. Right. So if we said, like, smart men are smart men. But they're not real men. Because you're specifically talking about them being smart. But they're also Bingo, just it. men, there right? You go. There you go. Trans well, is an adjective. Trans is short for gender, so transgender is the adjective. Uh, so transgender men are men. Just like tall men are men and smart men are men. You wouldn't just say smart men are smart men. Right, but if you're talking about the topic of men getting pregnant, men cannot get pregnant. You're talking about trans men getting pregnant just like if and you're talking trans about men, men. So, just yes. like if so you're the talking statement says men can get hold pregnant on. and that is true because trans men are men trans men can get pregnant therefore men can get pregnant so just like if you were talking about in your example if you're saying that a smart man you're not going to call him a smart man you're going to call him a man uh-huh then you're calling him a smart man because you're on that topic of him being smart. You're talking about him being smart. Uh-huh. Yeah. But he's still, Nailed it. Good job. But he is still a
man. That's what he is. Yes. yes. Now, no, Got hold it. on, hold on. Yep. And we're talking about hold trans on. men. Hold and on. Talking about how uh, I, I want. I want Emily to finish. I want Emily to continue down the line. Let's let's see where Emily's going. So if you're talking about a man getting pregnant, mm-hmm. that's a it's a trans man getting pregnant because he's you're on the topic of being Correct. pregnant and a man yep. cannot get pregnant. No, okay. no, you're, you're close. so close, and you're, you're you're not making your own analogy. I'm oh, not. my analogy, but yeah. Right. Anybody so with a trans men can get pregnant, like you said, correct? What? Anybody with a uterus can get pregnant, like you said, correct? Most people with uteruses can get pregnant. Well, cor- right, unless there's a f- m- medical reason. Right. Uh-huh. But the people with uteruses are women, females, women. Or trans men. Right, because they people. are women. Trans men are not women. Trans women are female. It's like you were so close, but then I don't know where we are now. Okay. Yes, because men can get pregnant. And trans men are the specific type of men we were talking about, right? Oh, are you asking me? Well, I'm, yeah, I'm kind of, yes. Oh. What was your question? Sorry, I didn't. Th- I thought so, you weren't talking to me. So, with the topic, right? Trans men are the type of man that we are talking about can get pregnant. Right, but you have just up there men. You don't have trans or not you. Right, because trans men are men. Yeah. It doesn't say all men can get pregnant. Right, but it also doesn't say trans men. And it doesn't need to because trans men are men. Trans men are trans men. That's why you call them oh, trans, trans men. Oh, trans men are trans men. Good job. Can you tell me what Good an adjective job. is? What? what is an adjective, Emily? What is an adjective? Thank you for the cowboy hat. What is an adjective? Mm-hmm. Yes. Don't mind me. I'm just throwing everything on the floor. It's like, Emily, we wouldn't say smart men are smart men. Smart men are men. Smart men are just smart men. They're they're not men. They're men. Tall men aren't men. Tall men aren't men. They're just tall men. Like the like, just because you apply an adjective to something doesn't invalidate the the noun that it's describing. Right. It's just adjectives describe nouns. Yeah. And with all the other adjectives, you get it. But for trans, for some reason, you keep going. Trans men are trans men. Instead of right. going trans you, you men or men. We, you get it when we say tall. You get it when we say smart. You don't get it when we say trans. Mm-hmm. Because you're on the topic of men getting pregnant. and Right. And trans men are and men. Trans Therefore, men get pregnant. men can get pregnant. Oh, my gosh. Emily, if it said women can get pregnant, would you say, well, not trans women? Yes, you really. Uh, okay, let's let's you know what? Let's forget about trans people for a second. Let, let's go with what Mel said. Um, if if I were to put up here, women can get pregnant. Would that be an accurate statement? Yes. Can all women get pregnant? No. Wait. So should I write? Should I, should I write fertile women can get pregnant instead? Fertile? Yep. No, because with infertile women, that's a medical issue. You being trans is not a medical issue. That's a mental thing. We're we're talking about the sentence specifically. Uh, So it is an accurate statement to say that women can get pregnant, even though not all women can get pregnant. It is therefore also an accurate statement to say that men can get pregnant, (laughs) even though not all men can get pregnant. Huh? None of that stuff that you just said makes sense. It makes no. That was a so little literally sense. evil. Not all, not all women can get pregnant, but women can get pregnant is still an accurate statement. Not all men can get pregnant, 
but men can get pregnant is still an accurate statement. Does that make sense to you? Yes. Yes. It, yep, uh, okay, I mean, it's, it's okay for things to not make sense. What part are you specifically confused about? Um, the adding of all to make it a general statement. I'm, I I didn't add the word, but there is no all no, up no, there. No, 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 and like you actually physically speaking. I'm, I, when, when I spoke, I said that it is an accurate statement to say that women can get pregnant um, even though all women cannot get pregnant. That's where the word all came in. I was saying that all women cannot get pregnant. Correct. All women cannot get pregnant because of certain medical right. issues stopping but it them was, from being pregnant. But, but it's still, still real this, women. Despite, we're not talking about the medical issues. We're not talking about why a person can't get pregnant. We're just we're just focusing on the sentence right now. The, sent, the sentence, women can get pregnant, is accurate despite the fact that not all women can get pregnant. Right? We're not talking about the reason why they can't get pregnant. We're talking about the quality of the sentence. Is that sentence accurate? That women can get pregnant, but not all women can get pregnant? Specifically, women can get pregnant. Yes. That is a fair statement to make, right? It is, yes. it is a true statement to say that women can get pregnant. Yes. But even though, even, hang on, hang on, even though not all women can get pregnant, that would still be a fair sentence. Yes. So why does that not also apply here? Why is this not an accurate sentence? It is true that some men can get pregnant, just not all of them. Mm-hmm. But those some men that can get pregnant are actually women. So that is no, they're actually female. Okay, there's that's the problem. That's the problem. Yeah. yeah. There is no problem. You that's just don't see trans identities as valid. Yeah, it's trans not. men are not women. Trans men, you transition to a man from a woman. <sighs> I really would. I can't That's wait to the future where people understand this. <laughs> yeah. Emily, do you know the, the difference between sex and gender? I know your definition of the difference. What is, okay, so Emily, I don't care what mine is. When, when I'm asking you a question, I want your answer. Thank you. I'm not asking you what my opinion is. I know what my opinion is. Sex and gender are the same thing. What makes you say they're the same thing? Because when you're born, you are given, not given, you are told what sex you are. It's either male or female. And that goes on to be that is your gender. You are either male or female. Why do we have the word sex and gender if they're both the same? I didn't make them up. So I don't know why there's different ones but that and why why is okay i'll ask you a, I, I got a better question for you you're right that was that wasn't a perfect question because we have a lot of words a lot of definitions with multiple words so here's one for you uh why when i look in the dictionary at the words sex and gender why are they different definitions did you look it up mm -hmm. or did you physically every single pull day out? every <laughs> single day <laughs> okay so when you look it up the internet is actually changed to fit the way people have tried Wait, to now? change and <laughs> hold on. I'm sorry, the, the internet. I'm not looking at the internet for that. I'm looking at my Oxford dictionary. I, I literally okay. asked him if he looked it up and he said yeah. Oh, okay. okay. No, no, it's no. No, we're she, not gonna miss gender. Changes? We're not gonna misgender a door. Huh? She. We're not yes, it's she. Oh, Emily, it, do you think those two words are interchangeable? Like we can say male or man, it'll mean the same thing? 
that huh? what you believe? It, do you think they're interchangeable? If we say male, we can say man. A male is a man, so yes. So they're interchangeable. So we so babies are men. Mm, babies are males. You said they're interchangeable, so yeah. you you say we can interchange them. So we can either call them male or men. At, like Eve. Okay, so at some point, even for girls, females, when you're seven years old, you're not going to be called a woman. When you're 16, 17, 18, that's at the area. That's what I'm saying. So oh, they're not interchangeable. Then. So they Hold don't on. mean the same thing. So they mean different things. They are. Okay. You are so saying they were interchangeable and they're not. You're not listening. Everybody just got <laughs> No, I'm li no, okay. We are listening to you. What I'm saying is, you were your argument was that they're interchangeable. I asked you, is it interchangeable? Can we say male when and, and man and it mean the same thing? You said yes, and then I said, does that apply to babies? I didn't say yes. I said a male is a man. A male and a man are the same thing. You did say so, yes. Okay, so it's the same thing. You said it was the same thing. So does that apply to babies? Can we call babies men? You could if you wanted to because a man is a male. No, babies aren't men. Hold up. Let me pull a baby picture of me. Give me you don't have to. Nobody, it's, it's. It would be wrong. If I called a baby a it's man, not it would wrong. be wrong. It's not thing something that harms anybody to call a baby a man. Oh, yes, it, it means was. inaccurate. Like, it's not accurate. You're okay. right. It's not but, accurate. But no, it is. Wait, wait. And it's baby. also dangerous. It's a also man. dangerous. We cannot call babies men be, be, because men can do things, right? Like, they can consent. You so, wouldn't. Thanks. Okay. The reason you wouldn't call a baby a man is because a baby is not. An adult, a, an adult is a yeah. man, or an adult is a woman. Uh, is a woman. Okay, so there are differences. They're not interchangeable. Male or a female, because of the fact that the baby has that gender. Okay, that but it's not interchangeable sex. then. So you you agree now that it's not interchangeable. Male and man is not mm -hmm. interchangeable. If we interchange them in all situations. That, that it won't be correct. What is being interchangeable? Inter okay, I can say this or that, like, um, something that's good and cool, right? I can interchange cool and good with when it comes to slang words or, or a consent and agree. Or allow. Okay. You can interchange those words. They're synonyms. Okay. So, so what I'm saying is male and man is not interchangeable. Because we can call a baby male. We can call an adult male. We can call an old person male. But we can't be using the same word for baby and an adult. When okay, it comes so to gender. Okay, so you said those are synonyms, right? You said cool and good. Um, consent and agree, those are synonyms, correct? Yes. Okay, so what's, did you know that male is a synonym for man? Oh my god. It's okay, not. so Eddie, can you blow me up real quick? Uh, try. I can barely reach, but I can. I might actually kick you. Okay, there we go. <laughs> if, if male and man are synonyms, then this It's a man. Oh. It's a male. If they're synonyms, they, like she said, interchangeable. If male women. and man are synonyms, then this is a man. Because I'm male, you can... and this is me. If you can only use male and not man for a baby, then they are not synonyms. Now I want cinnamon. Synonyms also have certain places, times and places that they can take place in sentences and oh, wow. words and yeah. comments. Yeah, so so yeah. just like a synonym for a man is male or a boy or whatever,
Boy. You're not going to go call, in, in the instant of a child being a child, a male child being a child, you're not going to call him a man because it doesn't fit in that sentence or... You get so close to the point and then somehow you just backtrack you everything. Have, you hop you, over it. You don't can, I, can I say beautiful or pretty interchangeably? Yeah. I, did you hear me, Emily? Beautiful and pretty. If I if I I can use that inter interchangeably, no matter what the sentence is. If if I can use the word beautiful, I could also use the word pretty. Oops. Those are descriptions of the way somebody looks. Okay, this is a description of somebody's <laughs> gender, which is different than saying somebody's pretty or somebody's beautiful. Okay, you but this is a but those these are adjectives. Are they not? Are they not adjectives to describe a noun? What? Aren't these adjectives to describe a noun? When we say trans, when we say pretty, aren't these aren't those both adjectives to describe a noun? It's describing somebody, yes. Yes. So why can't why can't I use that analogously? What do you mean? I'm saying aren't those both okay, those two words pretty Trans are both, those are both adjectives to describe a noun. Do you understand what an adjective is? Yes. Or a noun? Oh, oh okay. Do you, do you understand what a synonym is and when something is interchangeable? Yes. Oh, okay, so you should understand that male and man cannot be interchangeable because what we consider as a man is not the same thing as what we consider a male is. Hello. <laughs> what? What? Did you not hear anything I just said? I did. A woman. <laughs> two sons I can't. I can't. I I tried. Yeah. So okay. trans. I'll, I'll try to repeat what Michaela said because maybe it'll go through this time. He, Tra well, trans, tra trans is short for transgender um, in the instance that we're using it. So transgender is an adjective. Transgender man is adjective noun. Transgender adjective man noun. So transgender is describing the type of man. Transgender man is man. Just like tall man is man, just like white man is man, just like um, feminine man is man. It's like manly man is man. See how many times we can fit man into one sentence? <laughs> okay, but also like back to the part where you did agree that there are certain times and places and certain points where you would put in those definitions depending on the description or like ages and stuff like that what? it's what what i i agreed that a baby was not a man correct that's what i agreed to yeah that's that doesn't help your point here yeah, gender is not biological. Okay, can you answer this? The night of somebody's 18th birthday from 1159 to midnight, what biologically changed about them?
biologically changed about what? What, body let's, what biologically changed when they turned 18? That, that one minute that happened. What biologically changed? Nothing. Okay. Because gender is not biological. It is psychological and social. What does that have to do about 18 in the one minute have to do with... Because, it, because you are saying that it's interchangeable when male is describing someone's biology. And I'm trying to explain to you, it's not. You can try, Mel. You can go. Oh, I just wanted to, I just wanted to say, Emily, are you just trying to use your, like, p your profile picture on us right now? Are you just fucking with us? No. Okay. I just had to ask. I just, I had to do it. Okay. But, did, but did you understand the point that I'm making? I feel like we get so close and then... It's like, it's because just like... Because at confusing. that point where you think you get so close, you then switch it up to making absolutely no sense. We're making... <laughs> <laughs> so to you, to so you. Um, so, so, you okay, know so if it's to me and I... If you're allowed to you think that I make speeches? no sense, why do, do I have to sit speeches? here and listen to your? Do you know? you don't have to sit here. You don't have to sit here. When did we say you don't make any sense? We understand what you're saying. Like you keep responding, right? We understand when when you respond, but when we respond to you, when we ask you a question, you don't understand what we're talking about. When you ask me a question and I give you the answer that you're asking me a question so i get to answer it with what i believe when i oh, answer yes, it yes. then everybody starts coming at me for saying that That's i'm weird. not listening because, none of us are talking about because you're years. making contradictions you're making a clear contradiction i point out that contradiction and then you ignore it and say that we don't make any sense uh, do, I don't. Do you know I haven't part, ignored anything. Do you know what a part of speech is? Okay. Do you know what a Do you know what a part of speech is? A part of speech. Yes. Yes. Then what is it? What are you? Give me some. Give me some examples of parts of speech. Since you know what it is, and and I'm assuming Definitely. at 18, I'm assuming at 18 you're either in high school or just graduated. So, um, what is a part of speech? Give me some examples. Um, it's like adjectives or nouns. Great, 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 great. Okay, what well, part of speech is trans is transgender? We part just went over that. Speech? What part of speech is yep, what part of speech is transgender? It's an adjective. Great, 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 great. Okay, what part of speech is man? Um, a noun? I, I, I okay, and, and what do adjectives do? And what do adjectives do? Um, they describe, they, they describe something. Describe what? Um. You just said the word. I know, y'all just, uh, it describes a noun. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, okay. So the word transgender man that has two parts, the, the phrase transgender man that has two parts of speech. Transgender being an adjective. What is that word describing? Transgender. I'm sorry, I didn't hear what you just said. I, I like said, I, okay, cool. Um, I said, so the phrase transgender noun, sorry, transgender man describes or it contains two parts of speech. The first one is what?
Are you like gonna keep sitting here and talking to me like I'm twelve and I don't understand yes. stuff? Yes, I will. Okay. Um, so Emily, Emily, it's it's okay to not understand things, but you in, in order to have this conversation, we we need to be on the same page about the basics. So we, so yes, we do have to go over this stuff if we want to have a genuine conversation. Yeah. I, they, people have tried everything else. Fine, people have tried everything I, else. People have tried everything else. So I'm trying this. Um, so not, can you answer the questions? Can you answer the questions? It's not respectful though to sit here and talk to me like I, I'm it's not a respectful to call trans men women. But person. here we are. It's not respectful to call trans men women. But here we are. So what word? What what? So we understand. What an adjective is, it describes a noun. We understand what a noun is. It is a person, place, thing, or idea, right? Sure. We understand that transgender is an adjective. Mm -hmm. We understand that man is a noun. We understand that adjectives describe nouns. So, transgender, man, what word is transgender describing? Come on, Emily, it's not hard. What word is transgender describing in the phrase that I just used? Do, 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 do. Emily, do you not know or are you just bored? No, it's not that I, I don't know. I, I know whatever you're trying to get at. You don't want to answer because it goes against what you... No. Um, yeah, because it destroys your point. I so, think it's funny how you're going to tell me how I'm, like, what I'm thinking. Okay, then answer the how question. What word is transgender describing but then I have in, the word, to, in the phrase that I just used? Like, what word is transgender describing the word that I just used? What word is transgender describing in the phrase that I just used? I don't remember the part where this was like an English lesson or something. So the, the second that you call so transgender, that's Thank you. Lesson. Um, so what word is transgender describing in the phrase that I used? You can keep asking me the same dumb ass question, but it doesn't discount the okay. fact that you keep treating me like I'm don't make sense uh, okay. or I don't understand. Oh, Emily, well, then answer the question because it. It, because it's so easy. If a 12-year-old could answer it, if, if I'm treating like a 12-year-old, then a 12-year-old could answer it. Um, so you're 18, that's six years. So you could easily answer the question and you're just not doing it. So we'll just make the assumption that you don't know. You can make any assumptions you want. Okay. W hot dog. I got paid to cash. I, I got cash up to kick you. You have a good night. <laughs> w hot dog. Also W. Oh yeah. man, that was like blowing teeth. Um, never thought we would do a full blown grammar lesson on here, but here we are. <laughs> hot dog just did a lesson for you guys. Please get hot dogs. Um, <laughs> seriously. Yes, <laughs> please. Up, please. There's a lot Talk of Talk about free emotional labor, labor guys. Checked That's out by the end of that right one. <laughs> Me too, me too. That's like trying to get my kids to not talk over me while I teach. That's, she was that's... so close in the beginning. It's just she can't separate the idea of thinking trans men are women. I that's like, like, like I, I teach I teach color guard, which is just very dance heavy. So we use counts, right? So I, I talk to my kids like, okay, where's count one? Where's count two? That's not treating them like children. That's making sure you know what I'm talking about and that we're doing like we're on the same page. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for the gifts. I love you guys. It's hard to teach somebody something if you don't know if they're like following along, right? Ugh, every freaking day on here is a battle. <laughs> so I was so frustrated. Like, I, I used to think the same thing. I used to think that transgender people just chose to change genders and it didn't make sense to me. I'm like, why would anyone do that? It didn't make sense. But then after you learn that they're not making choices and about how it all happened, it just, that's when it all clicked. So for some reason, I feel like I can just explain that to people and they're going to get it and they just don't. Yeah. 
You know, it's it's not 100% true that I didn't know what being transgender was until my early 20s. I did know that sex changes were possible. And I used to wonder so badly, like, why don't gay gay men and, and, and lesbians, why don't they just get sex changes? It would be so much easier for them. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh, oh, well, I mean, that kind of makes sense for a kid, I guess. Yeah, I mean, okay. I, well, I was like six, seven years old when I'm having yeah. to start. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> that's that's, so that's about all I remember of that. Yeah. <laughs> like, what is, why is, the, why do we have this idea that we just need to let kids figure shit out? When it comes to the LGBTQ community, it doesn't make any sense. We don't do it with anything else. We teach them math. We teach them how to read. We don't yep. make them figure it out. Yep. It doesn't make <laughs> sense. Okay, guys. Um, I want to play some video games before bed, so I'm going to log off now. Uh, but uh, thank you all for being here. I'm sorry I was so late. I, I, I hung out with my friends for the first time in like two weeks now. Uh, had to. I just... It's been it's been too long. Two weeks is too long to go between friend friend visits. Um, it must be nice to have friends. Yes. <laughs> Thirty <laughs> seconds away too. I don't have to buy a plane ticket to see them. Because <laughs> you're my friend. It's just I gotta buy a plane ticket if I want to see you. <laughs> it's true. I don't have any local friends. All right. Are, Are you gonna be guys. live in the morning? Yeah, I, I don't know if I'll be on time, but I will definitely be. Um, live in the morning awesome oh is anyone and available to raid it looks like nate is live right now Still? nate debates okay. let's raid nate debates guys not a debates not a debates <laughs> right, i'm never i'm never gonna see his name the same ever again it's, it's <laughs> always gonna be. you're welcome bye bye nate debates adora raid in the chat guys don't spam it just write it once maybe twice and uh, go enjoy Nate's lives. There's a good chance you'll see me there in like an hour or so. <laughs> All right. Bye.